I'm Siri and I'm a PhD student in the Vision Lab group at the University of Cambridge. So uh, my research project is about hyperspectral imaging. So um, hyperspectral imaging is essentially um, a way to collect several images in different spectral bands. So um, uh, you have a set of images each of the different wavelengths and you can use this to extract spectral information about the object you're imaging. Yes, so we're particularly interested in patients who have Barrett's esophagus. Barrett's esophagus is a precursor state to cancer. And currently in the clinic, they will diagnose this with white light imaging. So just a normal, normal video which you have in your smartphone or whatever. Um, and with hyperspectral imaging, you're able to extract this additional dimension to the data, the color information. And from this color information, you will get additional information, which will allow you to perform more accurate diagnosis. So you'll be able to not only see the cancer, but also give suggestions of which treatment would work best. So every day is quite varied, actually. Um, so some days I will spend the whole day in the lab and I will be aligning uh, my equipment. I, do a, I work with a lot of optics, so a lot of it is uh, twiddling a mirror until you get it into, into focus. Um, and other days uh, I do data analysis where I, um, I often get huge data sets and it will take me a while to actually understand what I have acquired and to be able to extract parameters from that. Um, and then, of course, I also have meetings with collaborators, especially since we work in a, in a clinical application. It's important that we discuss a lot with the clinicians. Um, and also discussions with other PhD students, and I meet my supervisor. So it's a lot about active discussion uh, about the actual research as well. And sometimes all of this will happen in one day. Sometimes you have data-intensive data periods and vice versa. So this morning um, I was acquiring some images to determine the resolution of the endoscope that I've built. So I've been imaging this um, uh, resolution test charge, uh, a USEF target, uh, to determine the smallest feature which I can resolve on my endoscope. And this afternoon I will be analyzing this data. So um, I will write code to um, extract the different features from the image and I will also um, plot them to, to have a nice visual representation of the data. So any, any clinical instrument that you use uh, needs to be very thoroughly characterized because you want to know how well it performs. So in this case, with the resolution, you want to be able to say the smallest cancerous lesion that you actually be able to see. So um, after, after I analyze my data, I will actually be able to put the number on that. Um, sometimes it can be really frustrating because if you have a, your hypotheses are not always proved right and it can be a lot of work before you actually realize uh, that something you thought were going to work is not working. Um, so that can be very frustrating. <laughs> The most enjoyable thing is that you have the freedom to explore uh, intellectually. You're, you're able to really dwell into a problem and really understand it in detail. And in addition to that, you have a lot of freedom how, of how you actually plan your day. So when you choose to work, where you choose to work and how you choose to work is very much up to you. So you have a lot of independence, which is very nice. So what would be really cool is if we could get this technology into the clinic so we could actually help to diagnose patients, um, cancer patients, earlier and with better, better accuracy.